I'm Naomi Cleaver and I'm a designer, writer and broadcaster. I know that studying art subjects can be enjoyable and rewarding. I even think they make you better at other subjects because they help you concentrate and make you think more creatively. But can studying art and design or design and technology really lead to a career? Some people think that there are very few opportunities, but today there are in fact 2.8 million creative jobs in the UK. That's one in 12 jobs. And some people say, oh, you're too clever to study art or design. But most of the UK's brightest talents studied these subjects at school and then at university and went on to a successful career in the creative industries. So what exactly are the creative industries? The creative industries in the UK are huge, dynamic and varied. Architecture, advertising and marketing, book and magazine publishing and fashion and every type of art and craft design, including game design. Our museums and galleries and of course the full range of visual and performing arts, including dance, music and theatre, TV, film and radio. The creative industries contribute £84 billion to the UK economy every year. And the sector is large and varied. I am a software designer. An architect. I'm a freelance photographer. I'm an artist. Structural engineer. I'm a designer and art director. Where would we be without all this creative talent? But what about the UK's next creative generation? Well, in the last 20 years, the creative industries have grown faster than any other sector and continue to do so. I want to go into fashion. I want to be a 3D designer. I want to be a photographer. And I want to be an architect. So if you keep studying art, design and technology at school, this will give you a start on your creative journey. You could go on to study them at college, university or even do an apprenticeship. Hear about lots of different creative careers, including mine, by clicking on the link. Hi there, welcome to the art department here at Brian Lees. At Brian Lees we offer two art-based GCSEs. We have Art, Craft and Design, which covers drawing, painting, printmaking, uh, sculpting, basically everything to do with art. And then we have Ceramics, and Ceramics is clay-based, um, and that is uh, under the GCSE qualification, but it just specialises in ceramics. There are three art teachers here at Brian Lees. We are all very, very skilled in our areas, uh, be that fine art based or ceramics. There's myself, Miss Dinsdale and Miss Catherell. And we're really, really passionate about our subjects. At GCSE, you'll have five hours of art a fortnight. Um, so that's a lot more than you get at Key Stage 3. It really means you can get engaged in your project. So if you're thinking about art, craft and design, perhaps you need to think, are you creative? Are you organised? Are you independent? Are you a problem solver? Uh, do you want a career in art and design? The creative industries are a massive part of our economy. Um, do you want to contribute to that? Is that the type of uh, career that you are looking forward to? Art will build in lots of practical skills, so using different types of materials. As I've already mentioned, you'll get to do painting, drawing, printmaking, uh, some ceramics, perhaps some textile elements, some photography, um, but also uh, it's an academic subject. There are uh, lots of elements of research, so you'll be researching artists, understanding their work and using that to create your own visual language. You'll develop an understanding of contemporary artists people who are making artwork now. So that will uh, involve you using social media like Instagram to be aware of what's being made at the moment and perhaps uh, more traditional artists as well. So we have a good breadth of art making uh, that influence our work. So if you are thinking about art design for your GCSE, we're looking for somebody who is dedicated to being creative uh, 
able to start with an idea and continue with that idea. So you'll get two different projects. You'll have your foundation project, which starts for the first term, but that and that foundation project is more about uh, building skills, building GCSE level skills, and we'll help you with that. But your second project is more sustained, and that will last for a, just over a year, and that will be led by you. Your teacher will guide you, will support you, and you'll have one-to-one -one sessions, but you will be expected to be the motivator for that. So you'll get to choose your theme from a selection with conversations with your teacher, and you lead that investigation. Okay, so you, obviously you need to be organised. <laughs> you need to be organised, you need to be creative, you need to be able to communicate well, and you need to be good at researching. And these are skills that we will help you develop as the course uh, continues. You will be working in a sketchbook and you'll be working on boards. So both of those things are used. Um, and as you can see with the work behind me, you'll be working on a range of different scales. Yes, you will have homework. And there is this, uh, this rumour that art has lots of uh, homework. Um, art takes a long time. That's all I'm going to say. Art does take a long time. So you do have to be committed. It's not something that you can just do in class. There are elements where you'll want you actually want to come in to continue with your work. So a lot of my students see it as uh, something they enjoy doing, so they want to do it at lunchtime or in after school sessions if they choose to, or at home. Materials are supplied from class. You're not expected to buy your own materials. We have lots of lovely things for you to use here. But if you do want to have your own, we encourage that, and then you've got them to, to use whenever you want. So, what do other students say? Um, you get to learn outside the classroom. Does it just stay in the four worlds? Uh, yes, you do need to be able to draw, you do need to be able to paint. Um, it's a practical subject, you learn by doing. It's all coursework, there's no exam. Um, the exam, the coursework is 60% and the practical exam, so it's an exam but not a written exam, is 40%. Okay. You're assessed on four different objectives, so how good you are at researching different artists and designers on how you develop an idea and record observations, how you experiment with your materials and your personal response. What input do you put on things personally? Okay. So if you've got any questions, there's anything you want to ask, please ask your art teacher. Um, I've covered the course content. Um, if there's anything I've forgotten, please, please get in touch and ask me. Thank you very much. I'm Megan and I'm in, currently in year 10. I've always known I wanted to take art because I really enjoyed being, being creative and I really like practical subjects. Um, and it can also help, art can also help with future careers. For example, I want to be an architect when I leave school. Um, and also with art, there's no revising involved, so it takes away a lot of the stress of the subjects involved. Um, and art also allows you to experiment with lots of medias and it's really enjoyable.